Um, I have two Mark V DJI 04 Pro, says Dennis Smith. Thank you for $20, Dennis Smith. Very generous donation. I have two Moz 27 DJI 04. Two drones with no VTX. For long-range suggestions for different VTX and FPV goggles that are not DJI, which VTX and goggles would you suggest? Um, I, I, I Honestly, I would suggest analog. Um, DJI is not the best video system for long-range. DJI is really, really good until you run out of range, and then there's not a lot you can do to make it have more range. That's how I'll put it. So DJI, make sure you've done the ham unlock. If you have, but the ham unlock gets you to 1200 milliwatts on the O4. You can't get any more power than that. With analog, if you at 1.6 watts and you want more power, you go buy a five watt video transmitter. You go buy a 10 watt video transmitter. You know, they're big, they're heavy. They're not legal to use in most places, but you could do it and get more range. With analog, if you don't like your antennas, get a high-gain antenna. Sure, more power to you. With DJI, Goggles 3, it's not easy to put aftermarket antennas on the Goggles 3. The air unit, you can do it. So DJI, once you hit their limit of range, it's relatively difficult to make there be more range. Okay. So DJI is not the best for long range. The other thing is DJI systems until the 04 have had a hard range limit where at 13 kilometers or 24 kilometers or 30 kilometers, doesn't matter how much signal strength you have, the link, the link stops working. I, as far as I know, the range limit for the 04 has never been documented. If I'm wrong about that, the chat will tell me. But as far as I know, it hasn't been documented. So, but but the bottom line is you're going to run out of signal strength and you're not going to be able to extend the range and that's it. So, um, HC0 can go as far as you want. There's no hard limit. You, but once you run out of signal strength, you're done. HC0, the video transmitter maxes out at one watt. That's it. You can't have any more. You can put high gain antennas on the goggles. And people have gone fairly long range with HC0. With, with walk snail, same deal. High gain antennas on the goggles. They have a two watt video transmitter. Pretty good. But honestly, I think a lot of people, if you're flying long range, would say that analog is the way to go. Because you can have as much output power as you want. It's really easy to put higher gain antennas. It's less expensive. And the way that analog breaks up is you know, you'll get static and snow, but you'll still be able to see the horizon. Whereas with digital, it just kind of freezes and you get, you get big blurry blocks. And the other thing is when you're doing long range flying, what do you need high definition video for? You're flying long range. It's just the horizon and the sky and like the terrain 2000 feet below you or five, five, 400 feet below you, right? So what what the what the frick do you need high definition for? Can't see anything anyway. So I think if you already own DJI and you want to do long range, I would probably steer you to analog. 